RBGFM, locals talking to locals. And we say good morning to the Chair of the Kapiti Chamber of Commerce, Heather Hutchings. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Nigel. Welcome to our programme. Well, of course, we all know the big news, uh, Air Chatham's coming to the Kapiti Coast, and we need that. And got a big open day coming up too, so people can get out and see what it's all about. That's right. So that's um, being run by KTDC and, uh, and a couple of other businesses, which is really great. So I believe that's on the 5th of August, which, uh, which is a Sunday. Yes, that's right. Um, and this is going to be a number of planes on the tarmac. It would be great to see Air Chatham plane there as well and meet the staff from Air Chatham. That's right. So looking forward to that open community day. So do um, commercial businesses you know, that you're tied up with, have they sort of made any comment about how it's going to help them? I'm thinking of, you know, Know, getting their cargo out of Kapiti Airport. I don't know how much comes out of here. You know, what we produce goes by air to, say, Auckland or wherever. Yeah, Nigel, we don't know either, which is a really interesting question. We had this discussion with Air New Zealand and they didn't reveal anything. So it's certainly a conversation that we'll be having with Dwayne and um, his dad when they come and talk to the business community on the 9th of August around the cargo and how much would fly out of, of Kapiti. But I think it's a golden opportunity to use that service. Yeah, it might be depending... We need more to, detail around it. Yeah, it might depend on the size of the plane because we've got a smaller plane now, haven't we? So, yeah, that'll yes. be an interesting question. So, anyhow... It's, uh, hopefully I'll be having an answer for you at our next, uh, next conversation. <laughs> Good, it's cold. <laughs> no, I think it's a grand opportunity and uh, a lot of people were a little sceptical about the council putting in 150 over three years, but it's only 50 mm. for the first year and it may not be necessary after that depending on how we use the service, I suppose. And look, that's the key. It's, it's up to us as a community and a business community as well to use the service. And, and, and it's, it has to be viable for Air Chathams to be able to operate out of the, out of the Cavity Coast. Hmm. And that's one of the reasons why Chamber is pushing really hard for the um, business people and, and community from Horofenua and also for Pairua to come on in and use our airport here instead of going into Wellington. I've been asking the council if they intend to extend the Hakara Street, and uh, they said, oh, in due course. But really, if they're expecting a lot of people from Potorua to use our Kapiti Airport, they don't want to be coming up to the Kapiti Lights, and we don't want them to be coming up there and going down Kapiti Road. We really need an access through Hakara Street out to the airport, don't we? Yes. And look, we do. It's a discussion that we're going to continue to have with um, KCDC as well. It's important that we get all of the infrastructure in place to be able to deal with the increased load out of the airport. Yeah, because we're only going to cause people who are trying to get out to the airport from down there saying, oh, no, it's no better than going to Wellington. So we don't want that sort of situation. And, and look, that's one of the concerns. People perceive, especially in Pairua, that it's quicker and easier to go to Wellington Airport. But as soon as we get that expressway through, Transmission Gully, it's going to be quicker to come to Kapiti. So we need to get the infrastructure in place ready for that, um, the expressway to be finished and for the Pairua people and business people to come on into Kapiti. Now, the Kapiti Chamber of Commerce, they put out a survey amongst the members and the, one of the questions, do you think the Kapiti Coast District Council has adequately communicated the introduction of commercial rates for Kapiti District? Now, what sort of response did you get to that from your members? From our members, in fact, a lot of our members and the people who completed that survey have no idea how the commercial rates is going to affect them. And in fact, a lot of them didn't even know about commercial rates coming up. And for us, that is an immediate concern. It is one that we have raised with Mayor Guru. Um, you know, we need to be more transparent and, and we're pushing for them to be transparent around these commercial rates. Uh, we don't want our businesses to suddenly get a, an account for their rates and, and discover what that increase is going to be. We need to know now so that businesses can prepare. We, we just need more communication from council. So when is it expected to take place or is it about to take place? Look, that's something I can't answer. Um, it is, uh, we have a meeting on Friday um, with the CEO, so that's a question we'll be answering, asking him on Friday. Right. And I suppose you'd be asking about the open for business policy and transparency with local businesses about that sort of thing. That's right. We had some interesting comments back about open for business, and um, the feeling is that, that that's not happening. And so, once again, that's a question that we'll be asking and looking at, at what is actually happening with some of the planning that was started a couple of years ago. Where's that gone? What's happening to it? OK. And another question you ask uh, your members, how would you rate your experience as a business when interacting with the council? And you had a one, two, three, four, five, I think it was, and, and I don't mm -hmm. know box as well. What response did you get for that? <laughs> Um, it was the major uh, responses we had were that they're finding it very difficult 
to interact with the council. They, you know, they want they they wanted to sit down and talk um, some of their issues through, but that's not happening. So I I guess it's talking at that business level, it's helping business people understand what they can and can't do and what are some of the options available to them. And that's just not happening at the moment. Okay. Naming of the older highway, does that concern the Cavity Coast Chamber of Commerce? I'm just thinking of uh, getting goods to various addresses, etc., and having different names, seven different names was once suggested. Is that something you are concerned (laughs) about or not? Well, funny enough, we are, but maybe for a slightly different reason, because the businesses have to change their business cards, their marketing, their websites, um, their invoicing. All of that costs money. And so this is some of the areas that we're sort of t- talking to KCDC about, is, is you know, it's the long-term effect that this can have. So it's an interesting one to be looking at, for right, sure. Right. And the minimum wage rate, is that having any effect on our smaller businesses in the area? That that will have an effect on our smaller businesses. I'm not sure that some of our businesses have really understood what that impact will be, but it is something that we will be running workshops on, learning and development workshops on, to help them come to terms with what that's going to do and what's that going to do to their business as well. Mm. Okay. Heather, anything in the Capital Chamber of Commerce news that we should know about that we don't don't know about <laughs> that we don't know about well of course there's the big business lunch that we're having on the 9th of august and that's with Dwayne and his dad coming to talk to the business community we have a number of um key uh, you know people coming along to that so if you want to know uh, more about air chatham hop onto the chamber website register it's 40 dollars for the meal um, and and come in and you might you know get a chance to chat to Dwayne and Craig and some of the other business people who are involved with the um, Air Chathams in the airport. All right, sorry, what day was that? That's Thursday the 9th of August. Oh, Thursday 9th, yes. All right, write yes. that one down. And whereabouts? So Southwards, is it? Lunch. It's at Southwards, yes, it's at Southwards. Okay, good as gold. So we're actually hoping to get Shane Jones. We're not sure how that's going to go, but he has certainly been invited. Okay, well, he might come with an open checkbook. You never know, Heather. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> no. We do appreciate your time today. And, oh, of course, we've got a BA5 for all members who are listening, a BA5 next week too. And if you've got somebody who'd like to be involved with it, with the Capital Chamber of Commerce, invite them along. That's right. So the BA5 is this time is um, sponsored by ANZ. And you, as, as you say, you can go online and invite a member, a guest along as well. So just go online, register online, register your friends or your, your, your business online, and we can take it from there. Good on you. Thanks for your time, Heather. We'll talk to you next month. Thank you. Thanks, Nigel. Heather. Hutchings, Chair of the Cavity Chamber of Commerce. 106.3 BGFM.